I'm going to show you how to assemble IKEA Valentuna sofa bed module. This is the one here, so this is the opening part, so you can open it and extend it to make it single bed or double bed if you decide to combine two of or more of these units. You have an option to add backrest and armrest to it or add another IKEA Valentuna seed module with the storage so instead of opening you can have the storage there but in this case I'm gonna show you how to assemble this IKEA sofa bed module let's do it and you're getting one big box with this IKEA Valentuna sofa bed module and in the box you're gonna find the manual instructions which you're not gonna need if you're gonna follow this video two pillows one big box which combine all the extending part and the mainframe of the IKEA Valentina sofa bed module. One box with the screws and legs and everything. Covering fabrics for this IKEA Valentina sofa which is coming in a separate bag. I just have it open here already. And here in the box with the screws you're gonna have two plastic bags. And in the first bag you're gonna get two T-shaped legs with the wheel. Four screws and allen key. And in the second bag you're gonna get four legs, four plastic legs with the four rings that just prevent the legs against scratching once it's on. If you have a wooden floor and those U-shaped brackets which you're not gonna use here, you're gonna use them if you have another sofa to be connected together or joined together. But in this case we have just one separate unit. And we're gonna start with the main frame. So just position it exactly the same as I have it here. You see this is the opening part here, that's how it works. And you want to open it, but we're going to put it upside down. So this is from under and we're going to attach the legs first. So you have four legs. In here you're not going to need any scroll drivers, electric scroll drivers or any other tools. So you're going to be fine with the Allen key which they provide in the box. So attach the first leg on the metal bar and peel the sticker from this ring and add it to the legs. Those rings are there just uh, if you have wooden floor so you're not scratching your wooden floor which is nice touch from IKEA to include this you don't need to buy them extra. And we do exactly the same second and third leg. Third leg coming at the back part you see those wooden triangles there in the corner those two legs at the back and the front ones are on the metal bar at the front. So this is leg number four and we're gonna stick the ring on the top of it even if we have a carpet here. Here you're gonna have those two holes on one side, one on the middle and another two holes on the other side. We're gonna work with the two holes on the each side. We have four of these screws and two legs. It's flat on one side and they kind of have a kind of curve on the other side. So the flat side coming to the front or to the panel. So it's lining up nicely with the panel and the curved side is on the other side, on the outer side. Secure two screws, you don't need any electric screwdriver here, you're gonna be fine with the Allen key which IKEA provide in the box. And we're gonna do exactly the same here, you see the flat side on one side and the curve on the other side. So flat side coming to the panel and secure it with the two screws. Fix both of them and you feel enough resistance you can stop. Now we can close it and turn the whole thing the correct way around. Now we can open the front slightly. That's how it works. You see now it's sliding on the wheels, which we just did now on the front legs. When you open, you're gonna see the, f the space is not even, so the main frame is a bit higher than the opening part. You get two cushions here. The square one is gonna be is a bit smaller and the round one is gonna be slightly bigger. You can see here the one on the left, the curved one is slightly thicker and the square one on the top is um, thinner. But at the end you're gonna have nice straight line when you're gonna put them correctly. Here this is the joining bracket so if you have another of this module or you create a, your own sofa which you can, you can join the units this way together. In this case we're not gonna use them, I'm just showing you how it works if you have a, another IKEA Valentina unit exactly the same as this one or if you're joining more units together or if you have the IKEA Valentuna unit, the one with the storage or any other combination, it depends how you design your IKEA Valentuna sofa. But for now we're gonna work with the fabric and this is the smaller fabric in the box. So you can see here on the top is slightly curved in. That's gonna come on the top of the panel here and the flat side gonna go at the bottom. Just find the first corner 
and the key here is to get correctly in the corner so make sure you the corner of the fabric lining up nicely with the corner of the panel and then attach it at the bottom exactly the same the corner at the bottom lining up nicely stretch it as I did here and you can clip the side once we're in the correct position and here on the other side exactly the same we're gonna find the corner first you see I didn't clip the fabric on the middle yet find the corner first and then the clip it bottom corner and now we can clip the sides now when we have the sides ready I can clip the middle part just stretch it down and make nice straight front and now we can clip the bottom as well so we just stretch it under and clip it so we make nice flat surface all along this should go quite easy as the fabrics are very exact on the panels you see nice straight no curves at all all along now we're gonna use the longest fabric you find with this ikea valentuna sofa module and we're gonna attach it in the first corner on one side and the key is exactly the same as for the front panel here attach it on the corner on the top attach it on the corner at the bottom and then we just push it all the way back and get correctly in the other corner you can find the corner here you see where is the fabric joining that's the corner there and we can clip it now all the top push it along clip it in the corner so it's not gonna go anywhere so where is the fabric connected on the edges as well it's lining up nicely all along here happy with that I didn't clip the bottoms yet completely so I can still stretch it at the end here now we can clip the top slowly as I know the other corner gonna match exactly I see the line on the fabric lining up nicely on the top bottom and on the middle and now we can clip the bottoms and the top all along see it's not straight on that line yet but they're gonna fix it in a moment once I get all the corners in the correct position so here exactly the same top corner bottom corner clip it and now you can stretch the top you're gonna see the line there where is the dry zip or velcro lining up so just go right on the top of it don't go too much over it as it would go over those holes for the connection and now you can stretch it at the bottom so just push it till the fabric is nice and stretched at this point you know you're lining up nicely in all, all corners you see this one is not straight but once you stretch it nicely at the bottom it's gonna just straighten up see it's gonna line up nicely all along here we go and this is the last part exactly the same here just pull it down on the fabric you don't need to do this even hard you see I'm just doing with one hand here no problem just gentle pull once the fabric is nice and straight you can clip it from under all around nice and straight happy with that now we're gonna do the pillows so we're gonna have this biggest uh, fabric in the box and I'm gonna show you how the pillow is gonna work so the bottom one is flat side on both sides and it's slimmer and the top one is thicker and have one side flat one side curved you can see the curve here on the top slimmer at the bottom thicker pillow on the top when you open it up when you put it in a sleeping position you flip it this way so the both flat sides are lining up nicely on the top and the thicker one the round part is at the bottom so we can take the pillows off position this fabric exactly as I have it here you see that material is gonna be on the bottom and the color part is gonna be on the top so flip it this way I'm gonna show you on the side here exactly again so right side is not colored left side is colored and we're gonna work first on the left so that's gonna be for the thicker pillow just unzip it all around and we're gonna place the round cushion you see the round part is over here on the top we turn it upside down so the flat part is now on the top and the round part is at the bottom push it into the fabric so you see here the curved side of the of this cushion is at the bottom now and the top side is the flat flat side the key here get into the corner first so you see i get into first and second corner and now i get the corner on the other side don't put the round 
a side of this cushion on the top now otherwise when you close it it's not going to be the right position you're going to have to change it so the flat side of the cushion is on the top at the moment now press it in completely and once you're in on all four sides and the sides lining up nicely close the zip and you have this side ready now when you close it you have the round side on the top nicely see that's how i want it and on the other side we open the zip again so this is the side with the material at the bottom and this cushion is square on the both sides so it doesn't matter which way you put it just push it in one corner first and then push it on the other corner as well that's the key two corners first in completely pushing this fabric up because i want to have the lines nicely on the corner of the cushion our third corner coming in the cushions are quite tight but that's how it's supposed to be so once you close it you have a nice tight cushions on your on your sofa the material is a, is a nice quality it feels good but you have uh, another options here for the colors of the fabric so you can choose whatever you desire you see i'm pushing the fabric up so i want the stitching lining up nicely on the edge of the pillow so you're gonna have to do that once you have the pillows in once you're happy you can close the zip all the way around and you have the cushion ready so this is the bottom part plane and the top part have a fabric and that's how you close it here once you're in a closed position you can close this zip all around so that's gonna join both cushions together the first time is quite hard to close after it gets better once once the zip finds its root around it so here is how it works now you when you want to put in a sleeping position open the zip all around and open this opening part and you have the holder at the end just lift it up so that's gonna hold the cushion all the mattress in place clip it in and you can rest and this is it this is ikea valentuna sofa bed module i hope you enjoyed the video guys if yes thumbs up subscribe to my channel as always you will make my day and see you in my next one very very soon thank you for watching have a fantastic day yes, this is ikea This is it guys and this is it guys this is Ikea Valentuna uh, thing